everybody. My name is... My name is... <laughs> what did I almost say? My name is... Um, I almost said something making with them. I don't know. <laughs> That was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm Silver Valkyrie. Welcome to welcome to the uh, video. Last time we hunted a Bradaban. Uh, very cute, love him. In uh, this time we are heading to the bottom of the Rotten Vale, and the I believe I know who we're fighting next. You all know too by the name of the type, by the title name, and whoever is on the thumbnail. But uh, yeah, are you ready to descend to the depths of the Rotten Vale? Yes. <laughs> First, we'll see if we can spot Zora Magdaros' trail from the air. If we find any pro anything promising, we'll look for a safe place to drop you two off. Well then, off, off we go. It's breathtaking. <laughs> they look so free. So, what's the bottom of the veil like? <laughs> I could not say. Though we have learned much, what we have are mere facts, and not a single clue to what truth they add up to. We know Zora Magdaros is heading there, but why? The world is full of mysteries to consume us. Yeah, and delicious mysteries to consume. <laughs> hey, I think I found something. Let's set her down. Or not. As I thought. We should regroup. Hmm. So much for making it down. That loathsome monster known as Legiana it rules over all other monsters in these skies. So long as it's out there hunting, we won't be able to reach the base of the Rotten Vale. Oh, I'd almost forgotten that you're a hunter. I suppose it wouldn't be too much trouble to actually hunt Legiana before we get knocked out of the sky again. Okay. We are off to hunt a Legiana. Partner. Uh, you remember from before, right? The same monster who knocked us into the veil. And the same monster responsible for downing the Third Fleet's airship all those years ago. Unless we take it down, we'll never get the research base down to the base of the Rotten Veil. And, and I just hate the word never, don't you? Come on, let's take out that Legiana. Yep. Um. Oh, I oh I have a great gear optional quest. Interesting, and a special arena Radaban. Lovely. <laughs> but for now, we are headed into the uh, Coral Highlands to hunt a Legiana. Legiana is hard. I am a little bit concerned, actually, if I'm honest with you. Um. <laughs> a little bit concerned. Um, and then I'm going to make some more flash pods. Yeah. When we get to the... When we get to the quest, I will be eating for elemental resist. <laughs> because Legiana, if you couldn't tell by that cutscene, uses ice. She is three star weak to thunder. 
I believe. So if you're going to fight her, use thunder. She is a flyer, obviously. We need to clear the way so we can fly down to the base of the Rotten Veil. Vale. The airship will get knocked out of the sky if we don't do something about that monster. Yep. We're going to eat first. Uh, let's, do we have any vouchers? I have two. Can I create a custom meal? I don't, I don't think I can. I, I don't think I have enough things. Uh, okay, so let's just do elemental resist up medium. Um, and I will eat a mega potion as well. A max potion, even. There we go. Alright. Well, there is no point chilling out down here, is there? Um, although I wouldn't mind getting some... Well, I'm sure it's fine. Equip some flash pods. We'll grab some of this. And let's go find us. Oh, well, look, there she is. Thank you for being so agreeable, Legiana. I appreciate it. I wish I would have upgraded my bow, honestly, in between parts, but yep, so she has a lot of ice attacks and she can uh, make you frosty, which means you move super duper slow, I believe. I think that's what Ice Blight does. You kind of just don't want to let her touch you, ideally. I would really like to smash her into a wall. She landed up there as if. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Down we go. Okay, we stunned her out of that. That's good, that's good. So, Legiana then. Let's have a little chat about Legiana. So she's a flyer, obviously. She's a flying wyvern. Um, she uses ice, as you can tell. Um, you will only see Legiana in the Coral Highlands and in the Horfrost Reach, which is in Iceborne. She has a variant in Iceborne called the Shrieking Legiana. Um, I don't know if it's a if it's a deviant or a variant. I'm not sure. Um, but the shrieking Legiana is basically just like a, a fancy, a fancy version. So for, if, if you're in the UK, imagine, imagine like Legiana is like little, and then like uh, shrieking Legiana is like Marks and Spencers or Waitrose. It's, it's uh, that kind of vibe. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Down 
when you come. Seems like she's a little bit confused. She is covered in ice now though, so uh, she'll... I, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means she'll use ice attacks more regularly or if she's getting like pissed off. Oh. Wait, did the Titsia coup flash us? Oh my god, it did. Well, I can't get flashed again. I would really like to try and jump on this thing, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Yeah, because I have no way of like jumping up here. Oh. Whoa, okay, there we go. There we go, so we have Ice Blight now. Uh, you lose stamina very fast with Ice Blight, basically. Let's heal up. Try to avoid that if we can. Get some nice damage in. the way of that. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got ice blighted again. Which monsters I think are scary because of how quiet I am when I fight them. <laughs> like Legiana for me is a scary monster. She's scary. Whoa, she won't stop me then. I don't know what that was. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that move. Okay, we've got a close range on. Ideally, I don't want close range on. Uh, I thought I could like summon my lad. Then you come. <laughs> Yes, in, in high rank and master rank, we won't be able to exploit the flash pods uh, as much. It won't bring them down, um, and in some in like it, it won't uh, affect them as much. And in some cases, it won't even drop them out of the sky. Um, where is she going? Back up here. Okay. She's not going all the way up, is she? No. I was going to say, she's not almost dead already. Let's grab a Nullberry. That up there is what me and Callum like to call Mount Doom because it takes so long to climb up there. <laughs> and that is where she'll be going to sleep. So she actually sleeps up there along with the other Elder Dragons. And oh. Gosh. What? Oh, let's see if we can get a mount. Yeah, I don't want to be up here fighting her. I don't think 
she's almost dead. I think she's 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 gotta be close, surely. Okay, so is it because I flash potted she didn't go into the wall? That's interesting. I've never used a flash pod for that before. Oh no, my controller's low! Oh god. Hello me, please! Leave me alone! Ow. Agiana is tired. Beef with the Palumu, please, because I would like him to go away. That would be lovely if you could make the Palumu go away. She is weak, so we are gonna let her run away. We are going to let her run away if she runs away. Are you gonna are you gonna run away? Yeah, she is. Okay. Excellent. So I don't know if she's gonna come here or if she's gonna go all the way to the tippy 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 top. By the looks of it, she's going all yeah, she's going all the way to the top. Okay. So this is why we call it Mount Doom. I will show you. <laughs> if you don't use the wedge beetle to get up there, it is a pain in the ass. Um, and you will have to do this with all of the big monsters that you will find here. Every single one of them. Uh, so. And then there is another wedge beetle here. Yoink. And another one here. And if you're lucky, whoo, which I was not, I screwed it. Uh, <laughs> you can make it in just like a couple swings, um, if you can hit the wedge beetles. Um, I used to be able to do it, uh, ev first time, every time. Uh, however, I am not so good at it now, <laughs> because it's been a hot minute since I've done this. Right, anyway, here we go. You'll be coming up here a lot, especially when you fight Kirin. And, uh, other monsties. And, da da la la Giana captured. Now we can get to the base of the Rotten Vale. Nice. Let's head back to the research base. So, I believe we aren't really that far away from high rank. I think the next one we're going to have to fight is going to be Odogaron. Odogaron. Odogaron, however you want to call it. It's Odogaron. And then I believe it is... Whoa, look, whoa we got three plates. Holy shit. <laughs> um, so after Odogaron, uh, who's coming up next, I believe, we have to fight a Rathalos and a Diablos. And I think... That is the end of our low rank journey. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly. How incredible. 
You truly are impressive. Now our airship will make its descent into the lower depths of the Rotten Vale. Just say the word when you're ready. <laughs> Not bloody yet! Let's head down to the bottom of the veil. <laughs> Can but first of all, I will show you the Leggy like, armor set. My favourite armor set in the game, if I'm well, it's definitely up there. Well, I don't know if it's my favourite. The Guild Palace set is my favourite, but this is definitely up here. Um, we also got the Inga armor set, which is actually not too bad. I really like the head, actually. That's lovely. When we get uh, <laughs> when we get layered armor, I'm gonna make this head. <laughs> we can have a crown. Um, oh, these arms. These arms have health boost. I might make these. Yeah. Why not? Now you have health boost level 2. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Legiana set. It is stunning! I love it. I think it's adorable. I love everything about it. The uh, high, the shrieking Le Legiana set is nicer, in my opinion. But this is lovely. I have no issues with this set. Um, I think the high rank set also has like a slightly fuller skirt, which is what I like. Because honestly, the only thing that throws me off about this one is the skirt, right? Um, but yeah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Can Cannot complain. Uh, and the legs give ice resist. The head gives divine blessing. What will we lose? Uh, okay, well, first of all, let, let me tell you what the uh, armor set has. So, uh, it has divine blessing level 1, evade window level 1, airborne level 1, ice attack level 1, and ice resistance level 1. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very good set. So, let's say... I made the head. What will I be losing? A health boost. Interesting. Okay. I kind of, I kind of want it, but I'd be losing a health boost. I will make this when um. Does that make it? No. I will make that. Uh, when I uh when when I have the the charm. So. Uh, let's have a look here then. So we all, oh, we also have a dragon, we have a dragon tree now, so that's helpful. I can't make anything yet because we need more warped bones from the Rotten Vale, but that's fine. Uh, we also have access to the ice tree. Uh, well I thought we did, ah, here we are, the, the Legiana tree. So we can either, so I need, I need to make another set of, okay. Um, right. <laughs> Let's see what what stuff we have. So, and then we can upgrade to this, and then oh, okay, we need bloody aqua sacks. So let's add that to the wish list, and then we need gajal skin. Add that to the wish list. And then we, we're coming down here. So add that to the wish list. Uh, next time we will be actually heading into the to the to the bottom of the Rotten Vale, and we will probably be fighting a Dogron. We may get our first death. Uh, I, in fact, I am kind of counting on getting our first death with a Dogron. Um, because um, he is super fast. Super quick, he applies a bleeding status to you. Well, I won't say no more because you will see it in the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We are so close to high rank now. We are so close. It's just a doger on. And then we have uh, two monsters left. And then I believe we will get our... We will be entered into high rank. After Zora Magdurus again. Spoilers. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. You should never miss any more Monster Hunter. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye, friends.